Hey friends, it's Will with Casserole Disaster, and I am back. It's been a little bit. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the news, but we're under a pandemic right now, and I've been stuck in this room for almost two weeks now, uh, under isolation and lockdown. Pretty scary stuff, to be honest with you. I, I really can't wrap my head around it. I mean, it's just the whole world got turned upside down in, in such a short period, but, but we're gonna make it through this. I have absolutely 100% believe that that this too shall pass but it's gonna all take our little doing to bring a little bit of positivity uh, distraction just some fun to kind of get us through this really tough time and what I was thinking I actually got really inspired by this because the halfway to Halloween uh, last drive-in on Shutter is coming in April, so our buddy Darcy the Mail Girl and Joe Bob Briggs, your big fans of Monster Vision back in the day, uh, are bringing that back, and it just couldn't be a better time for that because boy, do we need a distraction right now. And I was thinking on my part, uh, I was gonna bring back maybe just a little touch of you know a distraction that I know how to do, and I think that that will be. Uh, I, I think it's relevant for right now. Uh, I was supposed to go to Monster Mania a few weeks ago, meet up with a bunch of buddies and go have a good time, and we kind of missed out on that, and I don't know when that's going to come back. I don't know how this is going to play out in the future with public events and things like that. I'm very worried. I'm very worried for my friends that this is their livelihood and this is what they depend on. But I think that we all have to do our little part to kind of keep that, that, that mood alive. So for the next two weeks, I'm bringing back the Halloween Hell Show and kind of my version of the Halfway to Halloween mark because to be honest with you I celebrate for like two straight maybe three months so realistically it's really my halfway point so starting tonight welcome back to the Halloween Hell Show the halfway point pandemic express whatever neat word I can come up to describe the fact that I'm in isolation I love the little son of a bitch and so are you <laughs> I love you guys. We're going to make it through this. But welcome now to the Halloween Hell Show 2020 Pandemic Challenge. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So I know it's the beginning of spring, but you know what? Maybe we can just pretend it's actually the beginning of fall. It's fun to pretend. nearly as cool as Satanic Panic, but we're work with what we're giving here. So tonight, for the first episode of the Halloween Hell Show, Pandemic Something or Other, when I come up with that title, I will get back with you, but for right now, new. Yeah. We're gonna talk about Joan Soda. I love the company Joan Soda. They're based out of Seattle. They've been doing a bang-up job for two and a half decades. Can't say enough about them. They just artistic, they've got a great flow about them, they come up with great flavors, they kind of cover the whole spectrum whether you uh, can have sugar or not have sugar and for a long time they were kind of the forefront of novelty sodas 
especially during the Halloween time. Now, yes, they did Christmas and Thanksgiving. I think that they were the only soda to come out with stuffing soda and green bean casserole soda. I think Brussels sprouts. I don't know. It was a key time because it came out, I think that they started about the mid-2000s. And for whatever weird reason, they stopped in 2013. I've been on Joan Soda's case ever since then. Not a year goes by where I just don't remind them how shitty of a decision that was that they discontinued Halloween sodas because every year they would come out with new cool cans, they would come out with awesome flavors, and it was just something to look forward to. For a long time it was Target exclusive. I don't know. Maybe they grew up, they got cool. I don't know. I have a particular nostalgia for this uh, brand of soda because at that time I just recently came out of the military and I thought I was too cool for school. I found a couple websites that really inspired me to kind of go back to my roots again and remember what it was like to really enjoy fun stuff as a kid and remember the fact that I love Halloween as a kid. Because when I was in the military, a lot of the fun and excitement and creativity gets sucked away from you. For whatever reason, it just it just kind of happens that way. I found X Entertainment, Matt, who's now with who, now the creator of Dinosaur Dracula and partners with Jay at the Purple Stuff. Uh, my buddy Brian, ReviewTheWorld.com. You know, just, I mockery. I, I can't even get over how amazing I mockery is with Raj and uh, really opened my eyes up to all these just amazing things that kind of bring back what Halloween and the holiday seasons really were. And one of the things that they did is they introduced me to amazing things like Jones Soda. Now Jones Soda over the years, now I have these cans which are empty, so it's my dog. Uh, I bought them on eBay just to remember them. I couldn't find the full cans, you know, so we have, you know, uh, what is this? Buried pomegranate from 2005, 2006, I think. Uh, lemon drop dead. Candy corn, but a different version. And then spooky week. But they have so many others. I only have two cans that are still full. And for the life of me, and maybe it's just because it's been seven years, I can't remember what these taste like. So tonight, for the first episode of the Halloween Hell Show, halfway pandemic panic, I think I'm going to delve in and take a risk and try the Jones candy corn soda again. Candy corn soda, they discontinued it. You can't find it anywhere. Um, it hasn't been on sh store shelves for, yeah, about seven years. Crazy shit. Now, I've got a couple of these cans in reserve, so I'm not really like, it's not like this is my last one, even though I could probably have picked a cleaner can. Now, I'm no Matt. You know, that boy has eaten fruit snacks that are damn near 30 years old and tried Ecto Cooler from 1991. All right. So, this is the Jones Soda candy corn. As you can see, it is a uh, werewolf, just like. The original back in 2007, I kind of like this art a little bit better just because it's just, to me, it just is, I don't know, I like this. This is kind of a little bit more, I don't know. I, I really don't even know. I mean, it's it's cool too. I, I'll still drink it. I'll give it a, a heads up. So I'm drinking out of my Minnesota class, buddy Ben. Jagger Cave lives somewhere around here. So you know. Oh, and by the way, I found all this at Ollie's today. Keep in mind, it is almost the end of March. So, my life, not yours. So here we go. Here goes the taste test of Jones Soda Candy Corn 2013. If a vapor comes out of this and chokes me, I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, that is orange. That is very orange. I see the fizz still holds up, so that's a good sign. That is a good sign. So here we are. 
This is very orange. This looks... Oh god, that looks like... That looks like... Oof. That looks like Las Vegas Airport after a week pee. If you ever spent a week in Vegas, you know what I'm talking about. But. Oh, man. Okay, it still has that smell. It still has that candy corn smell that I remember. It smells just like candy corn. So, well, bottom up. And, uh, what really sucks in the pandemic is I definitely don't want to have to go to the ER when other people need the ER. God, what a weird time. Do that, can't you? You're not too busy, are you? <laughs> it's not bad. It tastes just like it is. It's maybe just a little bit less fizz, but I think that this is um, this has held up quite a bit. Um, super sweet, like crazy sweet. But man, did they nail that candy corn flavor. It tastes like melted candy corns. It, um, if I had to pick one, I think I'd probably go back to, if, if memory serves me right, red licorice, like the dread licorice. It's, it's hard to tell. That's why I was so excited to try this and pop this open, and I know that there's probably a lot of people that say, ah, you just cracked a piece of history and ruined it, but I've got other cans. As far as Halloween taste goes, that hits a home run every single time. I would implore Jones Soda to give an opportunity to bring these things back. I'm giving you six months heads up. We need them back. I think that there's a market for it, and I think that there's a place for this. They, um, they scream Halloween, they're a great novelty item, and obviously they're collector's items. People buy these and not drink them just like me. And then during a national, international crisis, crack one open and drink it on camera just cause. So right then and there, it's got to tell you, you've got something. you got something really cool. So, but, well, all right. So that was the candy corn, Jones Soda, taste tests, circa 2013 to now 2020. I've ingested seven-year-old soda for the very sake of letting you forget for 10 minutes that there's not a pandemic happening, and I hope I did my part. So Jones Soda, get off your fucking ass. This is the time to do it. Create some awesome cans and some awesome flavors and bring Jones Soda back. We need it, especially right now. All hands on deck. It's in your corner now. I'm Will, this is Castle Disaster, and welcome back to the Halloween Hell Show. So soon. Didn't think it would happen, but here we are. Now if you unmask your heart, I love you, love you, midnight shadows fade. No one's left at the masquerade. Everything is through, dear, but my love for you, dear, lives on.